Caleb, our secret agent is back already. The soldier is on furlough. Not for long, I'm afraid. The prince will undoubtedly have some new task for me. At least she trusts you. She hardly speaks to her primogen. Even Beryl is in the dark. He's not used to that. It'll be good for him. I heard you were doing business with him. It's something to do with the Rosemond Society, my foundation. Why? I'm afraid that in the current situation, it could create confusion. I just want to get things straight. What are you insinuating? Don't play innocent with me. You sound like an inquisitor. All I can tell you is that Beryl's really the one who is in charge of it. Are you still not talking? You could say that. Any regrets? I'm planning to make up for it with Fang. Oh, so that's why you've become attached to that girl. I'm not attached to her. She's an asset for the Camarilla, and a necessary balance to temper Beryl's wicked games. Personally, I find that giving a child so much power is dangerous. The problem is that you have to watch them all the time, otherwise they end up making a mess of things. But trying to influence them is pointless. You must be subtle about it, that's all. I give a mem just enough freedom so that she doesn't completely hate me. But I know exactly how to make her do whatever I want. Do you really think you'll have time to embrace Fang? What do you mean? Well, with all the elders gone, who knows who'll be next? That's not something I'm willing to discuss with you. Suit yourself. No, excuse me, I have to go. Of course. Galen, by all means, make yourself right at home. You, here? How extraordinarily rare. To what do I owe the honor? Enough, Beryl. Did you speak with Feng? I'm not one to keep an eye on the comings and goings of your retainers. Did you speak to her? So much fuss about nothing. You know very well what she is to me, and what she'll be soon. If the prince authorizes it... Uh, it's only a matter of time. I sincerely hope so. I ran into her recently, it's true, but we hardly said a word to one another. I will not accept your explanation. I thought I had made myself clear about her. Unlike you, I don't try to control the lives of those around me. Feng still enjoys a certain degree of freedom, doesn't she, to choose whom she sees? We ran into each other by accident, and we didn't speak for long. She is mine. She cannot decide for herself. I won't have her coming anywhere near you. You might want to rethink your methods. If she didn't need to talk to me so badly, I would have refused to see her. I really don't see the harm in it. It's not your business to understand. I'd really like to, though. I just wanted to give her some advice. To help guide her through this brave, dangerous new world. When it comes to that, I don't think you're doing enough. Am I mistaken? You needn't worry. She's been introduced to everyone. I don't intend to leave her defenseless among the drooling predators skulking in the corners. 
And she might just surprise you. I'm sure she will. She's worth far more than your estimations. Is she worth more than me? Are you sure you want an answer to that? All right, all right. I never took you for the fatherly sort. But I guess anyone at any age is vulnerable to the winds of change. Your concern for Fang is to your credit. It really is. However, I can't help making comparisons with my own past experiences. You shouldn't. It was long ago, I admit. But I'm still your only child. You're jealous. I'm not jealous. Although I do regret the unfortunate turn our relationship has taken. I'm worried about Fang, honestly. You would worry too if you were in my shoes. I just want to make sure she doesn't go through the same thing I did. The crushing weight of disappointment. The distance. The disdain. Well, I... I'm sorry. I made a mistake with you. A mistake? What, pray tell, did you ever do to make things go awry? You dropped me in a hornet's nest and left me to dodge the stings. I've been nothing but alone from the very start. I... You gave up, Caleb. And did you ever once consider fixing your mistake? That's why I'm doing things differently with Fang. I don't want to make the same mistake again. Ah, such eloquence, which never ceases to surprise me. You've always wielded words with such deadly skill. But there is one small detail it seems you have forgotten. You won't be there for her much longer. What? Think about it. You're the oldest person in this city now. It gnaws at you like it does all the elders. You can feel it inside you and it will grow and grow until you finally give in. How long do you think it will be before you leave too? That's a subject you should avoid bringing up. Why? I'm not the only one who feels the urge to leave. You feel it too. We can't do anything about it. Using it as a pretext for your dubious behavior is inappropriate. I don't see how avoiding a subject that concerns all of us, especially you, could be a good thing. For once, I was looking out for someone. I know you think I'm selfish, a manipulator, but things aren't always black or white. You of all people should know that. I'm worried for Fang. She needs someone because you can't be there for her all the time. I thought I had made myself clear. I don't want to hear about any more secret meetings between the two of you. Have no fear. I know what I must do. Watch yourself. I think we've said just about all there is to say. One more thing. A little bird told me about your operations in South America. My dear sire, for someone I thought had no interest in business, you're remarkably well informed. Nothing can stay hidden from the court forever. Where's the harm in it? Your actions have consequences for the Camarilla that you haven't considered. You could endanger the masquerade. Don't you think you should speak to the prince about it? <laughs> I don't see how my personal business concerns her. She's already having enough trouble getting us out of this mess she's dragged us into. You hold her responsible for this? She's in charge, isn't she? She hosted the party. It's only natural to hold her accountable, isn't it? If the court were to hear what you just said... Ha! <laughs> Do you really think I'm the only one who thinks this? You'd best be going. I wasn't planning on staying, be sure of that. It's been a pleasure. Please excuse me if I don't see you out. He's unpredictable. 
I need to take more drastic measures if I want to stop him from causing trouble. It's not from the inside. Caius again. <clears throat> they locked it down. Too late to go see him. Hazel is probably ready to see me now. I won't make her wait. It was a pleasure to see you again. We're still waiting on the list of everything you want to keep. You'll excuse me if I have more pressing matters to attend to first. Of course, but Miss Bosley asked me to remind you. I'll be back later. There's no need. I'll bring it by. Asshole. What do we do if the hunters show up? Tarot for those who are uncertain as to what the future holds for them. You do know it's risky to come in here like that, don't you? You've got nothing to fear. This is the prince's house. Don't be stupid. You know very well the minute your back is turned, anyone can come poking around here. If you take me for a thief, you're sadly mistaken. No. You're here for a courtesy visit. It's to your credit. I was thinking of snoops who are able to disguise themselves. I see. What brings you here? I thought things between you and the prince had gotten better. She stopped treating me like a goddamn traitor. That's a start. And given the situation, we really need to hit pause on all our internal disputes. Don't you think? Any idea what we should do now? The most urgent priority is to make sure we are safe. We're working on it. Obviously. Then we can think about long-term solutions. We might need to go into exile for a while. And where would we go? I'm guessing we'd all go wherever we feel like. Let's hope we won't have to take such extreme measures. I'm sure we still have a chance. That's why I'm still here. Are you seriously ready to abandon us? I'm not proud of it. But yeah. Well, I'll leave you to your business then. If you see the prince, reassure her that my loyalty is intact. She'll judge you by your actions, as will we all. Goodbye, Caleb. No time to make it pretty. Sorry, Mr. Bazori. Miss Drury's quarters are off limits. What's going on here? Mr. Leto's orders. We've got to clean up. I'm sorry, you can't go in there.
The prince is ready to see you now. Great. Galeb. My prince. We were expecting you. How may I be of service to you this time? One thing at a time. The situation has changed. The money is gone. The accounts have been emptied. What? That's impossible. Only Jason Moore could have transferred the money. The situation is dire. Moore would never have done it on his own. He would never have dared. I agree. It's much too bold a move for him, and that's what concerns me the most. Someone used him to attack us. Someone who was extremely well prepared. It might be one of our own. That's what I think. It's the most plausible explanation. If there's a traitor among us, I'll have their head. One thing at a time. I'll take care of the traitor, personally. Failure is a luxury we will soon be unable to afford. If you have nothing more to say, we can move on to the reason I sent for you. Did you read Jara Drory's file? I wish I'd never seen it. There's too much I despise in it. She never mentioned she was monitoring the Primogen's finances. Or this, Catapotis. What on earth is it? I've got no idea. It doesn't add up. It seemed important to her. But she's not here to shed any light on it. I'm listening. I've asked for your presence here because I have a new mission for you. Delson was able to track down the men who attacked us. It wasn't easy. But it was impossible for them to disappear without leaving a trace after what they did yesterday. Where are they hiding? Long Island. Yes, of course. An abandoned facility just off the coast. An old fort. It's the ideal place for a secret base. And certainly much more. Who knows what they're up to out there? <sighs> How is it you didn't notice a thing? They have abundant resources, and we're short on eyes. It doesn't matter. We'll find the people responsible for the situation later. Our most pressing issue is preventing them from striking us again. How? You're going to go there and kill their leader. As I've said before, you can count on me. Good. That's what I was hoping you'd say. When the time comes, I won't forget to reward those who've been loyal to me. I won't let you down. What's the plan? They evacuated the bodies from the site of the party, which is how we were able to pick up their trail. There's a small, nondescript warehouse at Jeffrey's Point. As far as we can tell, their transfers from Boston to Long Island are made by boat. To avoid drawing attention to themselves, They've chosen to employ only small craft. There are bodies packed in the warehouse waiting to be shipped over. Do you get the picture? You want me to disguise myself as a body to be evacuated? Exactly. All you have to do is stop simulating your vital functions for a few hours. It's risky. It's risky, but it's now or never. We might never get another opportunity. We have to try. The last transfer is probably going to take place tonight. After that, there's no way of knowing when we'll get another chance. And after that? Once you're on the island, you'll be in uncharted territory. You'll be on your own. Who is my target? Walter Stanford. He's the head of the Boston Task Force. He's part of what they call the Society of Leopold. Someone else will take his place. No need for you to worry about that for the time being. Your mission is to eliminate Stanford, and that's all.
What do we know about this Stanford? Not much. They're very careful. He was sent from the Vatican, and he brought other fanatics with him. If he's here, it means that Rome has faith in him, and that can't be good for us. He's got to be taken out. What's the Vatican getting out of all this? Your guess is as good as mine. But it seems that the kind are trying to get a better understanding of us in order to hunt us more effectively. These priests have been our enemies for ages. They have knowledge. Putting an end to them is crucial. We must keep our enemies from unifying their strength. I don't wish to be the bearer of ill tidings, but what if I fail? Do you have a backup plan? Galeb, you won't fail. You're our only hope. We place all our trust in you to complete this essential mission. There's no room for error, Vizori. Aren't you worried someone will tip off the SI? There's still a traitor among us. The traitors, my department. You need to strike quickly, and don't let anyone know of your plans. We can't take the slightest risk. All right. I've heard enough. Very well. Then you should get going. We've already lost enough time. Very well, my prince. <laughs>